Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me talk to Steve. Sexual intercourse with you from the ages of five to nine years old. Five to nine years old. Is that he told the truth? Oh, I would never do nothing like that. Hey, I would never. I can't do it, bro. Well, you could say it a more times. It's okay. Like Can I again? Thing. Fails for touching well, I, a little girl. But I didn't do it, though. No. I was telling the truth. Why okay. would I come all the way here to lie? That your sister molested your son. I or anything, we're sisters. Yeah, man, I, Megan, I never touched my son. I swear to God, I never oh, touched my son. If he just said I want to have oh, sex with you. I don't know. Oh, hey, dude. You did not tell the truth. I didn't tell the truth. I didn't tell the truth. And if you is what I gotta go through, I'll plow through you like a. You I'm had to sleep with her. No, I didn't. She, hey, she slept with me. This, Overpowered you no, and made you have sex with her. her. Today, we enter a world where innocence is shattered, trust is demolished, but hope remains steadfast. If I fail, Horns will come out my head and fire, and I'll transform into the devil right here on this damn stage. What you doing with my daughter, dog? Let you dance something to my daughter. I swear to God. I swear to God, you making jokes like it's a gang. I ain't know nothing about this. Okay, I today's found Wednesday. out that Monday today's when Wednesday, the show called. Through the unwavering pursuit of justice, Steve Wilkos is ready to confront a child predator and help the survivors find their voices. You find out this, what is your reaction to that? I'm pissed off. But how about, I the, fact, how about the fact that Geneva didn't tell you? That upsets me even more. Listen, I know you don't like me, but I have done nothing to you. About That's to why you don't like this. Yeah, open this it up. Yeah. Based on the accusation, emotions run high as the devastated father discovers the harsh truth about what happened to his child. Ali came here and took a lie detector test. Did you sexually molest Geneva's daughter? The results of three lie detector tests, you did not tell the truth. <laughs> It's a devastating revelation for the couple, who must now face the consequences of what happened to their innocent child. Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Talk. Wait a minute. I'm talking to Steve. Wait a minute. Let me talk to Steve. No, no, listen. As God is my witness, listen, listen. Have you ever slept with a female? And when I got in the room, now you what did I tell you? The suspected child molester must do a lot of explaining, but would it be enough to convince the parents that he didn't do this? Never I touched we asked you, did you molest Geneva's daughter? I, I, I never touched What did I do? <laughs> never. 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 With relentless determination, Steve refuses to back down, and the predator continues in denial, but he has to face the consequences of his disturbing actions. Yo, never in a billion years. This is you. No. You like to have sex with Something kids? is very wrong, wrong here. Please look at me. I'm looking. Right. Man, me? I'm looking. Something is very wrong here. Have I, I, I would like to believe that. This is, this uh, is some, people, something right hold here. On. No, hold something on. right here. You no. Want an explanation? No, 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 no. You gotta be quiet if you want an explanation. Pretty convincing that I didn't do this. How could I? Some information came out, Steve, that was relevant to this issue that I won't discuss, okay? I gave him three integrated zone comparison tests, as I do for all child molestation cases. He was a minus 50, 5 0. This is a case of extreme this is assault. Extreme. Exactly. I've never seen it this before like this, Steve. Listen. Listen, let say, me just say something. Say. I don't know what is wrong. This is a lie from the devil of hell, okay? You a child a molester, that's what you I is. Never, you a never. child molester. Next, Steve confronts a suspected predator head on in a bid to expose the disturbing extent of his manipulation tactics. Any chance you're gonna fail this polygraph? One day in your life, you're raising a family. Next thing you know, you're accused of a very hideous crime. Sexually touch Janelle's daughter. You answer no. Steve's following words are the most anticipated for the guests right now because it can dash their hopes, but watch what happens next. And the result for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. It's a lie. That wasn't the only lie detector test administered on the show. The next one has more shocking results. Your daughter came here and took a lie detector test. Sexual intercourse with you from the ages of five to nine years old. Five 
to nine years old. Daughter's lie detector test told the truth. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Have you ever sexually molested Darcel's daughter? He did not tell the truth. <laughs> While you have this life on this planet is to hurt a child, and I believe that's what you've done. Did you fabricate a story about Edwin molesting your daughter? She answered no. She did not tell the truth. <laughs> Sexual physical contact with D'Amico's daughter. He answered no, did not tell the truth. <laughs> what the police said? Did you ever sexually molest Taisha's daughter? Is that he told the truth? I would never do nothing like that, I would never. In the darkest corners of society, monsters lurk, preying on the most vulnerable. And these stories could be pretty emotional. Uh, Mercedes, you came here, took a lie detector test, sexually molesting or touching your daughter. Answer no. The results came back the same, told the truth. Next, we shed light on a disturbing case that unravels the horrors hidden behind a facade of trust and friendship. Trevon, you took a lie detector test with Mercedes' daughter. You answered no, is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> what? This is an incident that no parent would be happy to hear publicly, but in the prevailing circumstances, the mother must come to terms with what she has heard. I did not tell the truth. What? Huh? No. The no, result of three no. polygraphs. Are you kidding me hey, right I'm now? Serious. Uh, let me explain something yeah, that's real quick. Out, bro. Okay. Bro. Then I'm gonna read this no. anyways. Yeah, okay, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Following this discovery, the host turned his attention to Trevon, who was facing a serious allegation. You know, you have to have a plus six to oh pass. My goodness, bro. A He's minus six <laughs> to fail. That's fake, bro. I didn't do okay. this. Can I take it again? You failed all three. Four, oh. physical contact with Mercedes' daughter <laughs> was a minus 13. That is a lie, bro. Steve doesn't leave room for doubts in his results, and he does something interesting to confront Trevon further. Before I read those results, I would have guessed that he was going to pass. I, pass. I, I didn't do nothing, bro. I, I can't do it, bro. Well, you could say it a more times. It's okay, like can I Again? Fails for touching well, I, a little girl. But I didn't do it though. Right. I was telling the truth. Why okay. would I come all the way here to lie? Trevon is causing a lot of drama on stage, and Steve doesn't always appreciate it, but what could he do about it? What's up, bro? What's up? Come over here, bro. Come over here, bro. Oh, oh, I ain't going to know. Hey, I am a man, first of all. That's why I came here. I am a man. Partner, I cannot I'm stress reading the them. fact that you're lying. Bro. Yes! Why is she lying? I don't know. I am a great father. The host would never allow you to make a mess on a show, and here's what happens to those who try. Did I make the little girl say No! It? No, get him out. No, I good, bro. I got this, bro. You guys are hella weird, bro. Goodbye. First of all, that's the typical fight or flight reaction because he's been unmasked. Does not make up a story like this that has a lot of reality in it. Fasten your seatbelts for a nail-biting episode exploring child exploitation's haunting truth. Accused of molesting your nephew and your own son, right? Yes. And did you? No, I never did. I never touched my son. How did you find out you were being accused of this? Through my sister. What ran through your head? I really, I want to kill her. For me to attack her, I wouldn't be here today to prove that I'm innocent. Every guest accused of this heinous act tries to deny and reveal a quest to prove innocence, but are they all innocent or are they connected? Um, how do you explain that the little boy said, she gave me money not to tell? He don't realize that the lie that he told her. Well, why would he make up that lie? I have no idea, yeah. Steve, because with something she was mad at me about, I can't really say how it came out. But I know I would never do anything like that to any kid, not only my son. Having sisters appear on the show for this reason is heartbreaking, and Steve wants to understand their relationship. Before this incident happened with um, your sister. Back and forth things since my mom So got, it's never been smooth. No, it's never been smooth. And get more closer to my sister, like. Because this is really like driving me away from my sister. I don't know why someone would make up a lie like this about someone. The sister insists she's innocent and would never do this to her nephew, but the accusations must be probed. She thinks that you started a rumor that she slept 
with one of your relatives, right? Yes, being said to hurt and hunt me. Do you believe that she slept with a relative? No, I don't. If you pass, you're hoping to work on your relationship yeah. with your sister. I wanted to get close. Then the host invites the victim's mother on stage to share her part of the story. That your sister molested your son. And why do you believe that? What exactly did your son say to you? My son came to me. So from then, I just went crazy. I went to her house. I called her phones. Before revealing the results of the lie detector test, the host wants to understand what's transpired in the past and how the victim's mother has handled the situation. And did you go to the police? Yes. And what happened with that? They told me I had to bring my son to the police station. I mean, you took a lie detector test too, whether yes, sir. you're telling the truth and whether you have slept with this family relative. The only way to find out the truth is to reveal the lie detector test results, which can be likened to opening a can of worms. And we asked you, did you fabricate the story that your son told you? You answered no. And the results came back the same to each question. It came back that you told the truth. The questions were carefully picked to reveal the truth and to make sense of the accusations. So prepare for a roller coaster of emotions, twists, and a triumphant pursuit of justice. And we asked you, physical contact with Megan's son's private area, you answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Maria did not tell the truth. I, I, could, I could read these three questions again. Did you ever offer Megan's son money in exchange for touching him sexually? No. You answered no. That you did not tell the truth. I never lied about anything. Okay. I or anything, we're sisters. Yeah, I mean, I, Megan, I never touched Spread myself. I swear to God. I never oh, touch my God. God. Here's the problem here. We have a child, a child, and he's being very descriptive. And they're saying something that is very adult. Makes me believe that your son is telling the truth. I don't know. Maybe because I was nervous. I don't no. know. But Nobody I never goes touched back to none of them. Cucumber. I never um, touched my nephew or my your son. Your boy is older than her son. Yes. yes. Okay. You don't make up. No, not, you, you don't. don't. Make up like he's this. not making that up. Your sister comes to you and says, Dad molested me. Right. She was in prison. She got out. <laughs> wow. Two days later, my money's gone. Right. You think that maybe she's making up these allegations. And he did have consensual sex with her. He had sex with his stepdaughter? Yes. Why the hell is he having sex with so her? It's probably not like a, it used to be. You probably have an, a, an addiction I've, problem. I've grown up, and okay. I started taking care of my children. Uh, they called social services, and then that's... The day my mom was hitting me real bad in the man that was... I'm not, uh, gonna, I'm not gonna stand because I'm not guilty. The way he says, hey, you know, it was it was consensual and, and he just says it so casually, like, hey, you can't tell okay. me something, but let me straighten this out here. He's a father figure. What if he just said, I want to have sex with you? I don't know. Oh. Hey, did, did Marcus sexually molest you from the ages of 12 to 14 years old? I told the truth. <laughs> been so many other people why would she bring my dad she sexually molested her he did not tell the truth <laughs> marcus yeah i'm going to comfort my daughter because that's yeah not... what would a six-year-old be hiding she's she can be family members she could be trying i don't know that's why i'm here did you coach your daughter to say that everett sexually molested your daughter told the truth <laughs> you did not tell the truth i didn't tell the truth i didn't tell the truth <laughs> five times <laughs> you failed this test four or five oh, times man. i didn't, I didn't, I didn't touch his knees i didn't touch his knees i didn't touch his knees i'm marrying him i was i dropped all the plans this is what he wrote that night this all took place yes i did go into her room to talk to her i didn't know what to say and i tried wording it the best i could but it all came out wrong I'm not a child molester. Would you ever want me to make you feel good? And she said, no, that's nasty. She kept coming to me all that week about the kids in the neighborhood kept trying to pressure her into having sex with her. Flip out no matter you what. You damn straight, I'm going to flip out that's thing. my And if you is what I got to go through, I'll plow through you like a What does it speak of a man that he runs away? Have you ever had physical contact with Marie? Sexual physical contact did not tell the truth. Oh. I swear on my grandmother's grave, don't I told come, the truth. Why, when you were 43, 44, 45, why were you having sex with a 12-year-old girl? Hey, 
13 year old, 14 year old, 15 year old girl came on to me, right. I would say, right. no way in hell you who had to sleep with her. No, I didn't. She, hey, she slept with me. This, Overpowered you no, and made you have sex with her. Manipulator. Let's take a copy of this show right. and show the judge. And I am. And you know, know, I, I, mean, I don't want to give you nothing. I can take this off my stand. Be careful what, be careful what you say. And the results for his lie detector test is that he did not tell the truth. Oh.